Hello everyone, I just want to show that HTML, CSS, and vanilla JavaScript can accomplish a lot. You don't always need a framework, and this is the level, I'd say, where it is a 50-50 on whether to use a framework or not. You use a framework when the application is complex, and I believe this is the level of max complication com complexity that you shouldn't be using a framework for. And guess what? This is not using a framework. I did this all in HTML, CSS, and vanilla JavaScript. You can see the source code. It does not look like I use a framework. I did use a lot of templates though. So Jinja 2 features, which is templating. And you don't need, it doesn't have to be a front end technology that does that. You can do it in a back end technology like a server or something. And what I wanted to show is that this app is like really nice for something done in plain technology with a zero, you know, zero build time and it's blazing fast, of course, compared to some React apps that you could probably just count on your fingers. One of them would be medium.com. That app is very slow for using a framework and it's a simple app as well. It's a text it's a text website. It's a text-based website and it's slower than YouTube. So, of course, and something like that is definitely less complicated than something like this in terms of the front end. But anyways, this is the, I just want to showcase the maximum complexity you need. And uh, this is how the redesigned layout looks like. It used to look like this where or sorry, this, where the mobile view and the desktop view was the same, and it used to be white as well, but I basically took some code I found for a concept of a music player, and I added a lot of changes to it, like the accent color, the extra text maybe, the, the buttons, the shuffle button, I'm pretty sure, or something, the volume bar, the device bar, these modals as well, on first glance, it looks like a Android auto app. That's what I was going for. And I'm glad I got that feeling because the UI is just really huge and it's actually resizable, which is awesome. This took, this was really hard to get that the image would resize to a normal size because usually there was some stretching involved, but this is pretty... I'd say this is pretty good if this is how it happens. Maybe this is a bit off, but that's fine. But anyways, that is the power of raw technology. And you don't need a framework for everything.